What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Behind me I've got the brand new Big Fish 103. This is a new boat for 2021 season. We finally got it in stock. It's shipping out to dealers all over the country. And I wanted to give you guys a quick walkthrough of this boat. So if you're familiar with Three Waters Kayaks, this boat probably looks pretty familiar. It's almost the exact same as the Big Fish 108. As far as features and what the boat comes with, you know, the, the Big Fish seat, eight ball steering, the beaver tail rudder, standing platform, all the same. It's just a smaller, lighter package. Other differences are, is this boat is 10 foot six versus the Big Fish 108. It actually measures out at closer to 11 feet. This one is 35 inches wide, which is still super wide, but the Big Fish 108 was actually 38 inches wide. So a little bit narrower, a little bit shorter, a little bit less overall volume. Definitely in the depth of the kayak, you'll notice it's not near as deep as the Big Fish 108, but it still has a huge capacity, a 400 pound carrying capacity and extremely stable. Even a big person, you know, 300 pounds can stand up comfortably in this boat. If you're bigger than that, you probably still should bump up to the Big Fish 108. But I think for most folks, I think you'll find the Big Fish 103 to be a little bit easier to use both on and off the water. The weight of this one comes in at 115 pounds without the drive. The Big Fish 108 comes in at about 135 pounds. So, you know, 20 pounds is significant when you're lifting this up into the back of your car. Um, let's just start at the bow. We'll work our way back and we'll talk about some of the features. Like all Three Waters kayaks, you've got the big molded in carrying handle. It's a solid place to grab onto the boat. Also a great place to lock up if you're leaving it at a dock or something like that. Uh, moving back, you've got this tank well area that you can store boxes and bags on. You see these two funny holes. People always ask what those are for. And what they're for is for the butt of your rod. You put the butt of your rod right in here and it lays alongside and the tips of your rods come here. So you're protecting your rods, keeping them low and it's actually a lot easier to get the butt of your rod in than it is to get the tip of your rod. So kind of unique features. I haven't seen anybody else do that. And after using it a bunch, it actually works pretty darn well. Uh, let's open up the front hatch here. Three Waters uses a blow molded hatch system. Uh, so lightweight plastic and then underneath is a battery box area. So owner's manual, uh, tools, extra shear pin for the prop all comes with it. You can put your battery in here for your fish finder. This little guy right here is for your depth finder. Your transducer will mount on the bottom. I'll show you that real quick. This little guy, transducer can mount right here and then it can raise and lower right here. Um, so if you wanna run a fish finder, very easy install. You just run the wires, mount it to the bottom and it just hangs down into the water. And then if you want it up, you can raise that thing up out of the way. With it down, you'll see hangs down just like that. So even the side scan imaging will work. Moving back into the cockpit, you'll see a pretty wide open standing area, multiple positions for the seat. You just loosen this guy up and then the seat can slide forward and backwards wherever you need it to be. And if you fully remove this front seat strap, this whole seat can actually come all the way up, flip up out of the way, giving you an even larger standing platform there. Extremely comfortable, breathable seat. One thing I like about it is how wide they made it. So even for a big rear end, you're gonna have more than enough space. Uh, we'll get to the rudder and the drive later because that's sort of the meat and potatoes, but other little things, a reinforced standing platform, water bottle holder here, molded side handles on either side. And again, that you see this blow molded insert that they put onto the boat, adds rigidity and structure and uh, gives you a nice place to, to grab the boat to pick up. They use the same plastic there on the floor to reinforce the standing area. Behind the seats, you got a couple of flush mount rod holders come with the rod leashes built in. You also have a couple additional spots. If you wanted to have a crate back here and leash additional items off, you have a couple of pad eyes built in. A huge voluminous tank well, a lot of guys wanna run like a cooler or a big tackle box with you know maybe three rod holders on each side or maybe three on each side and four or six across the front, you have a ton of options and a ton of space in that tank well. In the back of the boat, you've got another molded in carry handle. And all around the boat, you have track systems. Again, Three Waters uses a proprietary track. So if you were getting, let's say, yak attack accessories or something like that, you will need a track adapter 
or if you want to use a big fish, they have the Unitrack mounts that clip right in here that have a little mounting bracket that you can add additional accessories to. In fact, let me go grab one. There you go, that's better than talking with my hands. So you'll see here, it's got a mounting plate that fits right on to the feel for Unitrack. These pieces are meant to go together. Now I will say there's lots of opportunity to use different things. Like if you want to use your typical T-Track accessories, say a Yak Attack or Yak Gear, they make a little uh, track adapter, both those companies that fits right into this track. I think it's like a $4 part. However, if you're looking for just a simple plate to mount stuff to, these Unitrack accessories work really, really well. Clip on and off, uh, and you just, you know, take it right off, and you can move it around, and you can, again, put this anywhere. So if you wanted to add a couple of, uh, you know, rod holders to the back of this thing, just put this on, you can mount it there, there, really whatever you wanted to. On the back of the boat, you see it's got a little drain plug here. Underneath, you've got the skid plate here. And then you'll notice the tunnel hole design. This is what makes the big fish so, so stable. A very flat, stable profile, lots of volume on the edge. And then it's got these grooves that run the whole length of the boat that give a short boat pretty decent tracking. And then the squared off stern and the big beaver tail rudder allows it to really spin and turn easily on the water. So let's talk about the rudder a little bit. It's got this huge, powerful blade and you raise and lower the rudder right over here, right alongside of the seat here. You just pop this out of the cleat, that drops the rudder down on the water, and then your eight ball steering allows you to go right or left, right there from the seat. Very, very easy, very intuitive. You see the cables run through here, pop out of the back of the boat and connect to the rudder. So big blade, short, wide boat, makes this thing incredibly, incredibly maneuverable. And then when you're coming into shore, you just pop this thing forward and cleat it in, and that brings your rudder up. Okay, so let's talk about the drive now. This is the Three Waters Pro Fish Drive. I really, really like the simplicity of this drive and how strong and stable it feels in the boat. Very, very easy. It's a chain-driven system. This thing is fully enclosed. It has oil inside of it that keeps it running smooth, very, very low maintenance. It also has the ability to tension the chain. So if you, you know, wanted it tighter or you feel like you have a little bit of play or maybe it's too stiff, this little guy right here allows you to tighten and loosen and it puts, uh, pushes a pulley against the chain to keep the tension just where you want it to be. And Three Waters has a video on this if you want a little bit more in depth view, but that's in general how it works. I really like how it attaches to the boat too. It's got this little knob here that holds it in place when it's down. A couple of knobs here that just um, grip onto this little pole, which kind of acts as your pivot point. And then this little guy locks it in place. So if I flip this open and loosen it up, the drive is loose. I can twist this open right here. And then the whole drive can pop out. Uh, I do that by just pushing this down, giving it a little pedal to line up the prop. And then once it's all lined up, just lifts and the whole deal just pops right up and out of the way. It folds forward, out of your way, it gives you the ability to spin the prop, clear whatever weeds might get in there. And then when you're ready to drop it back down, it's the same process in reverse. You grab the handle, drop it down, tighten the little screw, and then flip this lever, flip this lever down, and then you're nice and secure and solid in the boat. The other thing I like is that they used uh, CNC crank arms. These are very, very stout, well-made crank arms in a big, fat pedal. There's not a lot of play in them. You know, some of the cheap pedals I see on pedal drives have all this play and they just feel janky. These actually feel pretty solid. Looking at the lower end of this unit, you see it's got like a little sealed compartment in here. That's where the, the lower unit is. If you need access to this stuff, if you want to service your drive, two screws here this pops up opens up the whole lower end so you don't have to rip the whole thing apart if all you're trying to do is maintain it screw here attaches the prop to the drive and there is a shear pin again in the beginning of the video somewhere i showed you that little bag uh, it comes with an extra shear pin in case you know if you were to ever jam this thing like smack it into a log it's meant to break the shear pin and not the prop so that's the deal with that it's a very powerful squared off prop really does a good job surprisingly good job actually moving this fat little boat around so even though it's only 10 foot six this drive makes it feel like it's a much longer much faster boat 
It's got forward and reverse. It's very intuitive to use. So eventually I hope to get this out and do a full review. But basically, if you go watch the 108 review, it's a very similar boat. It's just lighter, smaller, easier to get on and off the water, and definitely a very sporty little boat. You know, 10 foot six and real squared off stern and a big old rudder. It's just fun. You can get in it and anybody can instantly pedal this boat around, feel stable and feel in control. It's just very intuitive and simple to use. So kudos to Three Waters for listening to their customer, taking what we loved about the 108 and making it available in a shorter, smaller package that's easier to handle off the water. If you guys have any questions or maybe you have a review of your own, do me a favor, leave those in the comment section. I will do my best to get back to them. And again, I'm gonna get this on the water soon and give you guys an on-water review to tell you what I think. That's gonna do it for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, this is Dan wishing you happy paddling. We'll see you on the next one.